coming to you again from my desk here in the spare guest bedroom in sunny Santa Monica, California. This is a card that says the word hello, <clears throat> and this is a ramekin with two peanut M&Ms in it. Just give me a second here. Ah, oh, so refreshing. Mm. Oh, there we go. Hang on, I'm chewing. Talk amongst yourself, second. Mmm. Well, oh, that was delicious, but I'm a little thirsty now. I have to have a little water. Go with that. There we go. All right, thank you. Now that that's taken care of, we can move on to our agenda. <clears throat> we have two pretty important things that we're going to do today. First thing is, we're going to find some new... Ooh, it says mystery word, but now that I think about it, it's actually mystery words with an S on the end, because we are gonna learn three new words that we're gonna add to our deck of scoop words. Um, so you should have already have, you know, some uh, flashcards that you've been practicing with. Today we're gonna add two new words to that deck. And we are, of course, going to be practicing our scoop words. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm walking around the room looking for stuff um, because I'm a little disorganized this morning. It's been a strange morning, let me just tell you. Ever had a strange morning? This has been a very, very strange morning. But we're going to practice, we're going to find some new mystery words, and we're going to add those to our deck of scoop words, high-frequency words, uh, or what have you. Now, where are we gonna find this mystery word? Well, we're gonna find these mystery words the same place we always do, inside a poem. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Let's see if I can center that. This poem is also reproduced on a slide for you to go over with your learning buddy. <clears throat> but I will go and read this to you. So the name of this poem is, Have You Ever? Have You Ever? Have you ever thought of the cat from the book with a big striped hat? Have you ever thought of the frog from the book with the big long log? Have you ever thought of the hen from the book with a large round pen? If you don't have one of these books, take them off the shelf and look, look, look. I think it's talking about like, have you ever thought about have you ever thought of the cat from the book with the big striped hat? I think it's talking about the cat in the hat, right? Because cat in the hat has a big striped hat. I'm not sure about the frog from the book with the big long log. That could be the one, oh, that's probably frog on a log. I read that to my class. Um, and the hen and the pen though, don't know, don't know. Anyway, but let's just concentrate on the words. I'm gonna read through one more time and see if you can read along with me. Have you ever thought of the cat from the book with a big striped hat? I noticed that cat and hat rhyme, right? Have you ever thought of the frog from the book with the big long log? Frog log, those rhyme. Have you ever thought of the hen from the book with a large round pen, hen pen. If you don't have one of these books, then take them off the shelves and look, look, look. Books and look, or book and look, those rhyme too. All right, so <clears throat> our first mystery word is gonna be in this first line right here, the very first line. Have you ever thought of the cat? So the mystery word, actually, now that I think about it, I'm seeing two of our mystery words. I'm gonna circle, or I'm gonna underline the sentence I'm talking about. Have you ever thought of the cat? So let's look at that sentence. The first mystery word, it has a vowel in it, and the vowel is an O. The vowel is an O. So clap when you see a word that has an O in it. 
have, no, you, does you have an O? Yes, it does. So that could be our mystery word. Ever, does that have an O? Nope. Thought, does that have an O? It does, it's got an O right there. Of, does that have an O? Yep, O-F. The and cat, do either of those have O's? Nope, they don't. So we know that the mystery word has an O. So it could be that guy, it could be that guy, and it could be that guy. But I'm gonna give you one more hint. The first mystery word has an O in it, and it only has two letters. A two-letter word with an O in it. Is you a two-letter word with an O in it? No, it's got one, two, three letters. Thought, is that a two-letter word? No, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. How about of? Is of a two-letter word with an O in it? It sure is. So if we follow those two clues, that tells us that of is our first mystery word. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add that to our flashcards of, 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 nice. So we're gonna add that to our list. Now I said there's another mystery word in that first line. The mystery word starts with an H, starts with an H. So somewhere in this line, there's another word that starts with an H and that's our mystery word. Does cat start with an H? Nope. The? Nope. Of? Nope. Thought? Nope. Ever? Does that start with an H? Nope. You? Does that start with an H? How about have? Does have start with an H? I believe it does. So have H A have, have, starts with the ha, have is another one of our mystery words. So, so far we have have and of that we're going to add to our list of flashcards. There is one more mystery word that I want to introduce us to today. Let me see if I can find that. Well... Let's look at these two lines right here. Now this mystery word comes up in the poem a couple different times, but I want us just to look at that one sentence here. Have you ever thought of the frog from the book with the big long log? Our mystery word in this circle also has an O in it. So what words do you see here that have an O in them? Let me read the sentence to you one more time. <clears throat> and when you see a word with an O, I want you to go ahead and say, Oh, have you ever thought of the frog from the book with the big long log. Wow, so the O words that you saw, you has an O in it, thought has an O in it, of, frog, from, book, long, and log. One, two, three, four, five, six, says eight words in there with O's in them, my gosh. All right, the word that we're looking for has an O in it and it ends in an M. It 
has an O inside, and the last letter is M. So take a look at that sentence. Tell me, where is there a word with an O in it that ends in M? I'm going to read the sentence one more time. And when you see the word that has an O in the middle and an end and an M at the end, I want you to yell, there it is. Have you ever thought of the frog from the book with the big long log? Remember that word has an O and it ends with an M. So when you heard me say from, you should have shouted, there it is, because it has an O in the middle and it ends in an M. So from, from, F, R, O, M, from is our next mystery word. Wow, so I'm gonna add all those to my deck. I'm gonna zoom back out and let me get my other flashcards. And I'm gonna give them a bit of a shuffle. I'm gonna stick the new ones in there. Whoops, you're so shuffled, you're facing the wrong way. Oh my gosh, I've got some, my cards are a bit wonky. I don't know how my cards got all messed up. Must be elves, must be coming in here at night. <clears throat> messing with my flashcards. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way so it doesn't distract us. And I'm gonna go through and we're gonna do our scoop words, our high frequency words, our special words. We're gonna go through and say them. When you see the word, I want you to say it and then I'll say it after you. Here we go. Was. Will. With. I. Are to do like she can or up for you. He, the, a, it, be, by, has, is, his, see. All right, now we're going to do our new three. The first one is of, have, from. Nice, there we go. So we found three new mystery words and we added them to our deck of flashcards for us to practice and get extra better, extra good at. And uh, there we go, we done did it, folks. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention and let's keep moving forward.